Okay, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Two months from now, I'm going to get an associate's degree in criminal justice. I will eventually add on a bachelor's. I don't know when. I have a New York State pistol license, carry concealed target, which means I can go from my house to the shooting range and back, and I can go nowhere else in between. I can't go to the store. I can't go to Dunkin' Donuts. But I can own a gun, keep it in my home, keep it at the range, and that's it. I also have a New York State security license, a New York State armed guards license. Now the people that teach me, the people I get my degree from, are detectives, troopers, attorneys. They're people that have been in the field for a very long time. People that know a lot about what they're talking about. People that have seen things firsthand. I was originally going to make a video just showing off my Glock 23, which I have right here, 40 caliber, medium frame gun. But I decided that there's no videos on YouTube or anywhere else for gun safety. One thing about New York State, we love gun safety. We have a lot of stupid laws that are restrictive and you can't do this, you can't go here, you can't do that. But for the most part, we're a very safe state. And I figured that's the best thing to start off with because in New York State, before you can legally touch a gun, you have to pass a safety class and pass a test. Just like when you get a driver's license, written test, 50 questions, multiple choice, 50 questions, true and false, minimum passing score of an 80. So I'm going to talk about gun safety in one video. I'm going to talk about self-defense, methods of self-defense, reasons of self-defense, how far you can go, when to stop, when to start things of that nature, safety tips, what to do when you go out, what to do if you're approached, things that women need to know, things that children need to know, and even things that grown men need to know. So we're going to start with some basic gun rules. Rule number one, when you pick up a firearm, and I do this literally every time I pick it up, I did it even two minutes ago. You take the firearm, I hold it in my secondary hand, Notice my finger is off the trigger. Open the slide. Eject the magazine. Magazine is empty. I can look through and see myself. Just because I can do that does not mean I'm going to act like a jerk with it. I'm not going to point it at people. I'm not going to put my finger on the trigger. I'm not going to do anything that I'm going to regret later. Another important rule, whenever you use the firearm, you always point it away. In this case, I'm alone in the apartment right now. There's no one here. Right over there is a solid concrete wall. Nothing can get past it short of maybe a 50 caliber rifle round. Loaded magazine is here. 40 caliber training ammunition, but it'll still work. I take that and I keep that far away. You always point it in a safe direction, away from other people, like that. Finger off the trigger, in case you have to unload it, load it, show it to somebody. When you do touch the trigger, the Glock pistol, you have to touch the trigger in order to dismantle it. I know that. Duh. But, like again, I'm going to check it two or three times before I field strip this gun. I was trying to thought there for a minute. When you make the decision to touch the trigger, the gun is aimed at a shooting range. It's not aimed at a house, not at a car, not at your friend. There are people that do things like this, so I gotta emphasize it a lot. Rule number three, when you pull the trigger, what is behind the target? If you shoot a paper target, the bullet doesn't stop in midair. The bullet continues. Where's the bullet going? Into a building? into a child, into a mountain, into a field, into a tree, into a wall. You have to know these things. Plain and simple. If you can't comprehend this, do me a favor, don't buy a gun, don't touch a gun, leave it alone. So, that's our basic rules for touching the gun. Let's say you want to show the gun off. Let's say I have a gun now and my friend comes over and he wants to look at it. I got a gun. You want to look at it? Okay. What am I going to do? Open the slide, 
Eject the magazine, check it. I could put it back in, but maybe I shouldn't. I put it there. Hey, my friend, the almost slipped up there. It almost went in. Hey, my friend, the gun like this, the slide is open. He'll pick the gun up. The slide is back, the gun cannot fire. Even if I chamber a bullet, the gun will not discharge. Now, when someone hands you a gun, don't take it for granted that they emptied it. Check it yourself. Hands are sweaty right now. Okay. These are basic rules you need to know. Also, where do you keep your gun when you're, when you're at home? Where is it? Is it in your closet? Is it in your safe? Is it in a storage room? Your gun is always somewhere. In my case, the gun is in this box, in my closet, in my bedroom over there. It's either in my closet, away, or it's in front of me like it is now. It's not going to be laying around the house while I'm out in the bathroom. It's not going to be over here by the computer while I'm getting the mail. You always have to know where it is at all times. You see guys come home from work, throw the keys across the room. Next morning, honey, I can't find my keys. I'm going to be late for work. The gun is not like that. You always know where it is. You always know that you can get to it. Because practically, if you want to go to the shooting range, if you need to go to defend yourself, you carry your gun for protection, you need to know where it is. You can't spend two hours looking for the freaking thing. You especially cannot spend two hours looking for it God forbid an intruder enters your home. Because when a guy is trying to break into your house, he's trying to hurt your family, you gotta know where it is, you gotta scare him off. You can't be looking for it. Also, basic rules. If you leave your gun around the house, you have a gun on the table, a gun under the couch, a gun in the bathroom, a gun in the kitchen, a gun under your bed, a gun in a drawer this high so a child can reach it, I'm telling you now, you're an asshole. Bottom line. Also, if the gun is loaded and laying around, you're a stupid asshole. That's it, you are. Because that's how accidents happen. That's why you see on the news all the time, these kids get a hold of a gun, five-year-old kid, thinks it's a toy, boom, accident, dead. You can't unpull the trigger. When you buy a gun, you have to understand that you are responsible all the time. I cannot stress that enough. You're responsible every minute. So you can't just go out to work, find out your gun was 